Well, <laughs> all the see the all producers they do that. Say well, well, so <laughs> <laughs> we were there. Well, so. we were, yes, but we're here now. That's right. See, you going to learn me that. And no, no, he just no, he won't let that one go. <laughs> she said. <laughs> see, see, can't take him. You want to get something to eat? I thought we just ate. <laughs> no, we did. I didn't give him my meal because he already paid for it. <laughs> Look at Nappy. He saying, already paid for it, right? For yeah, us to no. eat, right? You? No. Oh, well, in that case, give me back my smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I'm only serious. Come on, hey. You don't have to pay. I'm only serious. That's what I'm saying. I realize that. So I said you don't have to pay. Yeah, I realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I got that. I was only serious. No, because it would be a shame if we broke up just before the show. No, that's not going to happen, baby. <laughs> you got next year to deal with. <laughs> this is only the beginning, Baba. <laughs> well, we'll be right back. Billy. <laughs> I love that story. Yeah. Can I tell Paul? Sure. Absolutely. Can you tell Paul? Because he's filming this. Oh, this is okay. good to say. I would like that for my private collection. Really? This is one of my favorite George Duke stories this week. You have because to do it in, in, in English. Seven minutes. I know it's, it's seven, <laughs> seconds. <laughs> seven seconds. It's seven seconds. It's seven seconds. I don't. I don't know where I was. I know where it was. It uh, was in uh, Holland, it was, right? It was. I don't. It was Holland, France. I don't think it was Holland. It was somewhere in Europe. It was right. an outdoor show. And Could have been I was playing with Frank, uh, and I. It was in the uh, 1970 somewhere, you know, and we were playing this gig I had. I was playing a Farfisa, and, you know, there weren't, in, in a rock band, or even a comedy rock band, there weren't a lot of uh, uh, guys that looked like me in these bands. And so people came up to me during the show and after the show, they kept calling me, Beely, Beely, <laughs> Beely, Beely. And I was like, <laughs> looking around, trying to figure out who they were talking to. Beely. <laughs> and I said, I don't know what they're referring to. And they said, and then I went back to the hotel and I figured, I said, oh, they think I'm Billy Preston. Billy Preston. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, he was the only black guy in the group. You know, and so they figured Beely. I had to be Billy. And so that was as simple as that, you know. So Beely. I became Billy. Billy. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> probably France. Jorge. If they say Billy, it's probably it's France. Billy. It was Billy. It's France. I didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> it's funny, man. Odd moment. That was it. See, short. Shorty. Okay, we got another six minutes. Do you got another story? Another story? From Frank's time. Uh, that I can talk about on camera? <laughs> <laughs> that people ain't talk about on camera? In Holland, yes. No, you, I, you know, I told, I told Cole, I, re I remember nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Um... Somewhere along the line, I don't know whether Frank talked to you about it. We we instituted what's called was called eventually the Booger Bear War. Now the way that developed is, is because, I don't know if I should do this. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> now I shouldn't. No, <laughs> okay. We'll do that in private. Come on. <clears throat> well, they're respectable people here. I don't, you know. No, 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 no. No. Well, anyway, they. they <laughs> <laughs> and it was what it meant. The booger bear meant it was a, a kind of a homely woman, homely, not you know, not a good-looking girl, in other words. And so there used to be these groupies that hung out at the show, and uh, various. And so some of the guys were you know involved with that kind of thing, and uh, and they used to, they made up this mask that kind of looked like cr a cross between a gorilla and a you know those shrunken heads they have in Africa where mm -hmm. they. Mm -hmm. Look like turnips that are drunk, yeah. you know. So it, with hair in the whole bit, like you know. And they put one of these on the door. So whoever had the booger bear for the evening, they had that <laughs> on their door, and it became a topic of conversation on the bus because everybody would come out of the room and look to see whether they had the booger bear war, <laughs> you know. And that went on for a while. Everybody laughed. Frank laughed. Everybody was having fun with it until Frank got it. <laughs> <laughs> That was the end of the Booger Bear War. Because <laughs> Frank said, why did I get it? Who put that on my door? Everybody was like mute. The whole band was giggling. You know, Frank was serious. He was pissed. <laughs> it's as simple as that. But we were young and foolish. 
you know, now old and foolish. Now I'm no, yeah. <laughs> now I'm a grandpa, so it's okay. Well, you, f- you can have a foolish grandpa. Yeah, grandpas can be, f- yeah. be foolish. You can. Well, I think it's a boss. Boss. <laughs> yeah, he, the big you know, you're the boss. <laughs> well, you, the boss. Yeah. You no, call no. shots everything. I'm just the piano player. No. Drinking nax- Nappy's Elixir. So that's what this is. Nappy's Elixir. <laughs> He's on the chest and go, really? Oh, this is nappy. He's good. He legs, sir. <laughs> you know? It's good, though. It's good. You know what's in it. I, I know what he told me he put in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no telling. Well, you bought just about everything in that green grocery store yesterday. Yeah. I, mean, I want that, I want that, I want that. Tastes good. It's sweet, too. Yeah. A lot of sugar in it, I'll tell you that. Yep. Well, I had my banana this morning. But no dairy in it, huh? No, he said no. Okay. Don't eat dairy. Actually, I don't do dairy. No. But he's got me taking all this coral calcium to make up the difference. Mm-hmm. I carry more vitamins with me now because Dr. Brock, Dr. Brock. <laughs> formerly known as, you know, the singer Brock, you know, has become a vitamentarian. A vitatarian? Is that a good word? Vitatarian. A, vit- a, word? a vitamin? A vitatarian. And he's serious. He came to my house delivering bottles of vitamins. And he says, you gotta take this, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's, is that my son? Yes. Just trying to fit this girl's voice in with a radio track. Oh, my son is doing a uh, remix. And he's, he's bothering, he's okay. he'll be okay. Got nothing else to say. Man, you look a little, you know, you look a little like a young, a young uh, Sergio Mendes. A young, a young Sergio Mendes. Sergio Mendes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You play keyboards the same? No, yeah, yeah, just at home. <laughs> just at home. Yeah. yeah, just a, just a little, just a little. You look like you could be in his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's a nice guy. He likes wine too. Oh, right. I like his music. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. Good yeah. guy. Sergio, Sergio, Billy, Billy, Sergio, Billy, Sergio, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our chance to have a Sergio Mendes uh, Billy Preston duet. Oh yeah, this is the big oh, chance. Oh lord, produce, <laughs> produce. Is he still is he st- is he still alive, Billy Preston? No, he's he, he passed he, away. Eh? Yeah, he went to the other planet. Yeah. Oh fine. Yeah, he, he checked out he, a few years back. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Billy Preston. Oh yeah, that's the other. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go around circles. Yeah, he was a talented guy. Okay, maybe you can, since you have some minutes left, what made you decide to uh, do an orchestral version of Dookie Tracks? <coughs> I didn't do an orchestral version of Dookie Tracks. <laughs> like we do now. The bigger Who's produce. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> the bigger produce. Courtney Clute. He, he decided that he wanted to do an orchestral arrangement of Dookie Trees. I said, you must be out of your mind. And because that's a particular kind of song yeah. that doesn't quite fit an orchestra. You know, but I've done some funky things with orchestra, like Dookie Stick and Reach For It, but the rhythm section was always a ghetto rhythm section, you know. And so I was a little concerned about this one, that it might not quite work. The other material I was okay with. But uh, I said, okay. He thought it would be a good thing, and it's Halloween. <laughs> so Dookie treats, treats, you know. And this is just, this is a Dookie treat and a pole treat. Metropole or a pole tree. So uh, I, he went ahead and he had it arranged by Tom Trapp. And I got here the first time we went through it. It was kind of interesting. But the second time, it really had that feeling. It, it got, got kind of funky and loose at the same time. But it was Cole's idea, not my idea. I would have never <laughs> chosen Dookie Trees to do with the Metropole Orchestra. And Uncle Rios? This is a serious organization, you know. <laughs> but he's the bigger produce. Yeah, the bigger so, produce. Yeah, so... Uh, Sausalito, that was also again his idea. Basically, Cole put the show together. I really, he he came up with these ideas, and everything seemed cool with me. Uncle I, Remus too. Uncle Remus, yeah. all those, yeah. Uncle Remus was was Cole's idea. He thought it'd be a good way to, to close out the show. Yeah. And uh, do an orchestral arrangement. Tom Trapp once again did it. And uh, good job too. yeah, he did a great job. It was working really well. And of course, it makes it much easier with me having uh, Doctor Brock, Doctor Brock, yeah, the, 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 <laughs> on board, you know, helping me sing it. Yeah, it's cool. The best ever. The best ever. Co-sets. What? <laughs> it will be tomorrow. What? Uncle 